Hey folks, Fat Guy Flies RC. We're out here at the Avon Park Aero Modelers Club. We're going to take up the FMS uh, J3 Cub in the Swiss Ambulance, I guess that's what you call it, Swiss Ambulance uh, livery. My big challenge today is going to be to keep this plane from nosing over given the little bitty wheels of this grass field. So, so what I've done to help with that, number one, I'm Run a, you can run a four cell on this, but recommend it's for a three cell, but you can run a four cell. I'm running a, a 2700 3S, and I have gone in there and gave myself maximum deflection on the elevator. That way, the, as soon as she hits the ground or, or, or touches down, I'm gonna plant that elevator or that ele or tail and try to keep her planted. And then hopefully, that'll keep her from nosing over. Easier said than done. All right, but uh, Running in 100% uh, throws over 30% expo, 2700 Hobby Star 3S. Got a uh, older AR36A Sport Receiver Spectrum NX10, and here we go. All right. Well, like I say, my challenge is going to be to keep this thing from nosing over. And. Uh, I'm 50-50 on it right now. 50-50. 50-50 chances. So. Right, right, left, up, down, right, left. Motor on. Like it's timer set for five minutes. Knife edge here. We bring this by about half throttle right now. We'll bring her by low and slow, right at us. That way you can get a good look at the bird. Just a good flying plane, simple four channel control. Remember, it's a curved wing cub, so you have to try to work a little bit of elevator in your turns. Time remaining. Or, I'm sorry, minutes. work a little bit of rudder into your turns if you're going to turn uh, slowly with your ailerons. Try to make your turn as flat as possible um, because a curved wing plane or any high wing really if you go too slow in an aileron turn it, it really gives to uh, uh, dropping a wing causing a stall all right let's get turned around here and see if I can pull off a landing without nosing over like I said I got 50-50 uh, confidence. We get a little closer to us. Hey! <laughs> Woohoo! Now, there's one. Remaining three minutes. Yeah, as soon as that tail hit, I was full up elevator. Try that again. Working a little rudder into my turn. Down to maybe an eighth of throttle here, quarter throttle, leveling her out. Oh, yeah! All right, here we go. Uh-oh. Yeah, and you're stuck in a rut. Keep working your rudder 
full deflection either way. You got look at that elevator. I got full up elevator. Look how them wheels are dug in. Cause I can get her turned around here. Turning against that wind. All right, we're gonna try this again. Make sure I'm not standing in ants. Time remaining, two minutes. There. Knife edge. kind of rope pulled out of her roll there she didn't like that that's okay this is a scale plane with all kinds of scale fidelity but you can do mild aerobatics with her bring her by see the underside of her Kind of side slipping in there. All right. Got a minute left. Your turn around here. Time remaining one minute. All right. One more time. Whoa! See, I'm giving her full throttle to get up off that grass, which is great getting up out of the grass. The drawback is the minute you clear that grip of that grass, this plane has a little bit of torque. 30 seconds. So as you can see, she immediately wanted to roll on me. So it's just, you know, it's your drawback, it's your trade-off. And I just had forgotten about that. All right. 20 seconds. All right. Uh oh. See, now let's, let's practice what I to told you. Yeah. Turn that rudder one way or the other and work yourself up out of that rut. All right. All right, we're in a rut right now. Watch this. Nine. All right. Prop secured. Prop secured. Now. Flew for five, four minutes and 52 seconds. So almost five minutes. All right, let me back up a little bit so my camera lady can. Number one, before we check the battery, I want camera lady, wonderful, precious, would you zoom in? On that plane, let's go ahead and do our thumbnail. All right, I want you to look, folks. Look at the the engine, the dummy, the dummy engine, the exhaust. You know, the pilot. You've even got a full uh, instrumentation on the on panel. Got clear hatch that that pops out so you can get to your servo leads working suspension they're kind of stiff but they do flare out on you so it does help um, nice chrome spinner very uh, functional struts you got to have these you rip your wing off um, belly loader so yeah and you got easy access to your receiver and your uh, uh, servos for your, oh, never mind, I lied. They're in the back here. But you got easy access to your uh, radio or, or receiver. Now, good flying plane can run on 3S or 4S, got a 40 amp ESC. I don't remember the KV on the motor. But here is my big drawback, the battery hatch. Oh, you, you're, you're I mean, I hate to be 
wimpy, but you're, you're going to break, almost break a nail. Break a nail. Um, pushing that little latch in. And then this little tight compartment. Now, 2700, the way these bricks are configured, well, you, luckily you got a little bit of room. You can push it back in and set it back down. But that's all the choice you've got. It's got to be this 2200 to 2700 brick style. And there is no room back and forth to adjust your CG. That's where it's going. But then again, with these high wing planes like this, nine times out of ten directly underneath the wing like that, you're going to be fine. Um, but the hatch is so tight and so hard to get into that uh, whoever designed that needs to be slapped a few times. Nice things about the plane. Number one, not all cubs have to be yellow. Okay, This has a beautiful red and white scheme livery very detailed you even got the fuel tank here you got the rivets the uh, fake ribs of the wing um, struts or uh, whatever those are i don't know what i don't know what these are called the wires that are back here i guess are the same as the struts but little plastic bits right there so you don't bend uh, tip or uh, uh, dent it on uh, dent the wing um, i would like to see flaps but not all these planes have flaps um, I think it's a two millimeter hex drive holds the four bolts that holds the wing in the struts are held in with a two millimeter uh, hex uh, drive screw that goes in that way so if you need to break it down it's not that hard it's why you got that little hatch you take the wings off you got that little hatch where you can grab your Y and fish it through and plug it in so that you can take the wings off for transport but she's small enough to where you you know should be able to configure it to almost any vehicle. Well, there you go. Let's check the. Uh... Oh, that's my audio. Checkers in the other side. See how much we flew almost the full time. 51% left. Half the batteries left. So that's good. That is good. Well, folks, there you go. That is the FMS J3 Cub excellent scale flyer a lot of fun and as you can see you can fly it on grass just make sure you've got maximum deflection on the elevator and whenever you land full up elevator to hold that tail down to keep her from rolling over on you thank you so much folks y'all don't forget faith family and friends and then j3 cubs bye-bye